Hi there, this is Mark Sebastian, the founder of OptionPit.com, and this is the Option Pit Trade Idea of the Week. Uh, before we begin, I just wanted to quickly remind everybody, trading, trading diagonals and calendars, a uh, great course. It's going to be four hours, this, Saturday, April 2nd, uh, normally 347 or 297 and uh, just 167 bucks uh, for, uh, for you. Go to OptionPit.com slash calendar. Uh, also, uh, none of this should be construed as investment advice. Uh, this is for educational purposes only. Consult your financial professional. Well, we're here we are, and what you'll notice is the S&P 500 is down 11 points, and the VIX is a little under 16. Now, if we look at a tick chart of where vol has been today, you can see we're kind of off the lows of the SPX. And we're well, well off the high, off the highs of VIX. All right. So nice little, it's a nice little, uh, nice little uh, mini collapse here as the market appears to not be tanking. All right. And that'll, that's kind of an interesting little, little thing. Now, just a reminder about. Uh, what I did last week, last week I did an XSP bear put, and I bought the uh, the April, oh, what did I buy? I did the April 1, so expiring in seven days, 204 put, and I paid 155. Well, I dumped it out today at uh, 230, so a nice little win. Um, and there are some other areas where I think that there is some opportunity in the markets. I think that the market is going to turn itself back around. Um, if you look at where things have been really weak, it's been in the transpose. And you can see AAL getting slammed, Apple, uh, Delta getting beat, Expedia getting beat, Priceline getting beat. Uh, all those names just getting thwacked. So... You know, if I look like, you know, Priceline is $1,200, so uh, I, I would love to do something in that, but maybe a, a less expensive trade is Expedia or one of the airlines. So let's take a look at the vols in some of the airlines. And here is American. Let me pull up a vol chart here. The IV. And you can see it's had a nice little pop, but it's still relatively inexpensive. Delta, come on, Delta. Delta might be cheaper. Uh, hasn't fallen as much, but Delta is definitely, uh, definitely might be cheaper here uh, in terms of volatility, but has not been sold as much. And then the final one would be, uh, you know, United Continental, and that one might be actually the least expensive, but. You can see AL is actually because they were actually part of the where the bombing took place. Uh, they got kind of beaten the hardest. They're, they touched that 200-day moving average, and I like getting in there as a way of uh, of uh, potentially playing a bounce here. Uh, I like them to to pop some. Now they've got earnings on the 21st, not confirmed, and so I could look at the 22nd. Uh, I could look at some of the weeks in front of me, and you know, interestingly, April vol is actually cheaper than the regular eight, April eight vol. So let's just look at the regular April, and I'll clear the vols here. Track on, and you know, I can buy the at the money call for a dollar forty. That's how much. American is down today, and this is three weeks out. Does that seem like a, a decent, a decent purchase to me? It does. So I like owning the April, the American Airlines April, forty and a half call for a dollar forty one, and I just purchased it. And that is going to be my trade idea of the week. And my goal is to sell it at, 
two or three, bu- you know, two dollars through maybe two fifty, uh, if and when uh, some of these names get a uh, turnaround. All right, folks. Again, go to optionpit.com/calendar to check out that course, and you can email me mark at optionpit.com or call me eight 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 trade zero one. I hope everybody has a great morning, and I'll talk to you guys shortly.